opened fire at 40th and Garfield yesterday, wounding three teenagers. Dermont Terry is live with the latest on the investigation. Unbelievable this happened in broad daylight. Yeah, that's what many people are still saying today, Carol. And today, the units, uh, members of the anti-gang division and the neighborhood task force have most definitely beefed up their presence in this area today. Of course, this comes after yesterday's shooting where gunfire erupted for up to 10 minutes. And I can tell you that neighbors in this community, they're trying to move forward, but they say that's easier said than done. Wednesday afternoon, Milwaukee police brought out the armored tactical truck to 40th and Garfield. The constant calls to 911 gave indication the rounds going off were serious. And there was all about at least 20 shots for sure. Jonathan has delivered mail in this north side neighborhood for 19 years, but nothing compares to the gun battle he got caught in, which left three teens shot in broad daylight. I hear shootings a lot, uh, not that one that came so close and where the victims come running to you for help. One of the injured teens ran to him after getting shot in the hand. And uh, we're in the back of my truck and another victim that was shot in the butt came this way behind my truck and uh, asked for an ambulance. And the third teen was found laying in the street. All three are expected to survive, but the violence leaves neighbors to reflect. I was a little bit surprised about it, that it went out to an open kind of like warfare type of thing. Charles Means has spent decades living here. He's pleased to see police patrolling. Right. They're visible now. Later on, a week from now, you won't see them that much. He believes that's where the community has to do more. The area has new homes under construction, and people are cleaning up. But despite this incident and the dismembered body found in the sewer a few weeks ago, he holds out hope for his neighborhood. Get an understanding and start speaking to the younger people around here. Now, Milwaukee police say two of the teen shots have criminal records that includes robbery, drugs, and weapon charges. Tonight, despite the increased patrols in this area, they do not have anyone in custody. On your side, live at 40th and Garfield, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Uh, Jermont, you mentioned the gang task force out there in the neighborhood. Do they have a motive for this uh, shooting yesterday? Right now, they do not have a motive. Um, at this point, obviously, the Neighborhood Task Force and the Anti-Gang Division can likely get some answers as to what led up to this, but they don't have a clear motive. At least, they haven't told us yet, Mike. All right. Thanks a lot, Jermont.